Photoshop retouching tutorial number four. The goal of this tutorial is to create this picture using these two pictures. Step one, move tool. Select the move tool at the top of the toolbar. Click anywhere in this picture. Click, hold down with your mouse, drag, and let go of your mouse on top of the other picture. Then you can move the picture around, position it how you need to. Go to edit on the menu bar, free transform. Hold down shift on the keyboard and drag the corner. And you can make the picture larger. You can click anywhere in the picture to move it around again and click the check mark when the transformation is complete. Step 2, Quick Selection Tool. Click on the Quick Selection Tool. The brackets on your keyboard can make your brush larger or smaller, or you can go to the Options bar where the number is. You can change the size. Make your brush larger or smaller. Click in the center of the shirt and drag towards the edge. Now the shirt selected. Click in the center of the face, drag towards the edge, and the picture selected. Next, we need to make sure this hair is selected. And that's kind of hard to do with the quick selection tool. So go into select on the menu bar, refine edge. Click on the smart radius check mark box and move your mouse over to the hair. Click and drag where the edge of the hair is supposed to be and it will select the hair. Once the hair is selected, click OK. Next, he's selected and we need the background to be selected. So go to select on the menu bar, inverse. To delete the background, just hit the delete or backspace key on the keyboard. Next, go to Select, Deselect, and this will get rid of our selection. Step 3, New Layer. To create a copy of the background layer, click to highlight the background layer in blue. Drag the background layer down to the New Layer icon and drop it right on top. Now we have Background Layer and Background Copy Layer. Click on the background copy layer and drag it above layer 1. Next, get the Move tool, the top tool on the toolbar. Click on the picture and drag it over to the right. Step 4, Eraser tool. Click on the Quick Selection tool. Click in the center of the baby. Click in the center of the baby's face and click around until you get all the babies selected. Go to Select on the menu bar, Refine Edge. Click on the Smart Radius check mark and click on her hair. Click and drag the mouse across her hair. This makes the hair kind of see-through so you can see what's behind it and it looks a little more natural. Click OK. Go to Select, Inverse, so we can work on the background instead of on the girl. Select the Eraser tool. Click and drag your mouse to erase the background. You can drag over the girl's hair and on the girl and it will not erase her because she's not selected right now. Go to select on the menu bar, deselect to get rid of your selection. Step 5, dodge and burn tools. Select the dodge tool on the toolbar. The Dodge tool lightens whatever you click and drag over. 
So if we want to lighten the shadows in this picture, we can. Click and drag over the eyes, and the shadows are lightened. Whatever you want to lighten, just click and drag over. The burn tool is opposite. If you hold down on the dodge tool, underneath in the pop-out menu is the burn tool. The burn tool darkens whatever you click on, so if you need to create shadows, you click and drag. The more times you click and drag over, the darker the shadow will be. So I can click and drag on the back of the baby to create a shadow. Step 6, Brightness and Contrast. Click on layer 1 to select it. Layer 1 is a lot darker than our background layer. So we need to go to Image on the menu bar, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Raise the brightness and raise the contrast. Click OK. Step 7, Color Balance. The colors between layer 1 and the background layer are a little bit different. There's more blue in layer 1 there's more yellow in the background layer. To fix this, go to Image on the menu bar, Adjustments, Color Balance. Add a little bit more red to layer 1 and a little bit more yellow to layer 1. Click OK. Next, the Burn tool again. Click and drag your mouse to darken whatever needs to be darkened. Shadows can be created with the Burn tool. Next, get the Dodge tool again. Hold down on the Burn tool and select the Dodge tool. Now you can add highlights to any part of the picture that needs highlights. The more times you click and hold down on your mouse, the lighter the spot will become. Step 8, Clone Stamp tool. Select the Zoom tool at the bottom of the toolbar Click and drag to the right to zoom in and see the eyes up close. If you look at the baby's eyes and the man's eyes, you'll see that the shine is a little bit different. We need to match the shine from the mother's and the daughter's eyes to the man's eyes. Select the clone stamp tool in the toolbar. Select the background copy layer by clicking on it. Move your mouse to the center of the baby's eye and hold down the Option or the Alt key. When you see the crosshairs, click one time. Now move the mouse up to the man's eye and click and drag to create the shine. Move your mouse back down to the baby's eye, hold down the Option key again and click one time. Move to the other eye, click and drag to create the shine. Go to view on the menu bar, fit on screen. The last thing that needs to be done is to cover up the eye, the baby's eye and the hair that's showing through from the layer in the back. Hide the background copy layer by clicking on the eye to the left of the layer. Hide layer one by clicking on the eye to the left of the layer. Click on the background layer to highlight it. Make the clone stamp brush a lot larger. Move your brush up to where the leaves are. Hold down the Option key and click one time. Now move down to the baby's head. Click and drag to copy those leaves. We're going to put the leaves here so that they show through instead of the baby's head. Click on the eye next to layer 1 to turn it back on. Click on the eye in the background copy layer to bring that back. Now the leaves are showing through instead of the baby's head. And here's the completed family photo.